we're going to talk a little bit more about the lock screen. Um, the lock screen is if you select our user profile from the start menu, you can choose lock. It's essentially the screen that you are greeted with when you turn on your computer or if it goes on standby and you come out of it. Anytime you need to enter your password, it's essentially a lock screen. Now, <clears throat> what we can do is we can actually customize this lock screen. And what I just did is click Start Menu, and I click Settings, and that brought up our Windows settings. And we're going to choose Personalization. And we can actually add, beyond changing the background picture, which we did in the previous uh, video, we can actually choose the lock screen on the left-hand side here, scroll down, and they have two different options here for adding apps to show on your lock screen. Now, the larger text that showed up on mine was the calendar. It showed my, my current date, current time, and any upcoming events I might have. I can choose one app to actually put as my primary. So let's say I want to show my weather as my primary. I can also show my latest mail, my Xbox information, my messaging, maybe my latest texts. But you can also add these little sub apps, and these are considered quick status. And quick status will give you like notifications, essentially. It'll show you notifications on your lock screen. So let's say you want to show the number of messages, or you want to show how many calendar events are coming up, or you want to have some alarms and clock information. Perhaps you want to know how many on read emails there are. So I just added those four items to my lock screen. And in typical Windows 10 fashion, they do auto save. So now I can just click on the start menu button here, choose on my profile again, choose lock, check it out. Oh, wait a minute, check what out? It's not showing anything on here, is it? Well, that's actually because your lock screen does not show anything on apps you don't use. So since I have not configured and or used those apps, and because there's no notifications actually available at this time, it's not showing them on my lock screen. But rest assured, once you activate those apps, and if you do indeed use those apps, they will be added to your lock screen. And that's all there is to it.